Hello, dear viewer. Merry Christmas. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Grant Fleet. Today, we're doing another episode of the Elf Encyclopedia. Yeah, and uh, here we have water. Um, that's not important. Today, uh, I just want to say Merry Christmas. Uh, I know this is a couple days after Christmas, but you know, Merry Christmas. And uh, to the new year, it'll, yeah. Also, I got a she sweet store for Christmas. I bought it myself, but it counts as a present. Also, I bought this hoodie for myself. It's, uh, it's uh, quite, quite, quite nice. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah. Also, I wanted to say thank you for the support lately. My channel's been growing. What are that twelve point three, almost twelve point four? I really enjoy just dissecting a fruit, a fictional double fruit. And uh, here's a little teaser for the new year. I'm working on a Zoro video. Enjoy the video. And with that intro out the way, hello everyone, my name is Grand Fleet. Today we're going to be doing another Devil Fruit Encyclopedia video. I was thinking of making a Zoro Technique video, but that's not going to happen. Definitely nothing to do with the uh, little teaser I had for you at the start. But with that out the way, what Devil Fruit are we going to talk about today and which one did I choose? And in the spirit of Christmas, even though this is being posted after Christmas, uh, yeah, I picked... The Mogu Mogu no Mi, held by Mrs. Merry Christmas in Baroque Works, or was in Baroque Works. We meet her in Alabasta, and she has a Mogu Mogu Devil Fruit, which allows the user to basically, you know, dig like a mole. Yeah, very boring Devil Fruit to pick, but it fits the Christmas theme. Yeah, there could have been Devil Fruits like Monet's Fruit, uh, I don't know the name, but she can make snow. We even have Kuzan's Fruit, where he can literally make ice. But no, I picked the Mogu Mogu no Mi because her name is Mrs. Merry Christmas. What more do you want? Now, this might be a short video, but you know what? In spirit of Christmas, that's what I do. But I do gotta be straight with this. And I gotta say that the Mogu Mogu no Mi does not allow you to make moles. It turns you into a mole. It is a zone double fruit. The Mogu Mogu no Mi was eaten by Druffy or Dr Dofi? D no, it's, it's Druffy. And she's a mole human. She has a hybrid form like all other zone devil fruits. Problem is, we've only seen her in her full animal form, where we kind of just see her as a mole human and as a fruit itself in combat it's not really the best maybe you can get snuck up on like sneak up on people grab them from the underground and you know do your thing to them kill them do what you want i guess but uh she was very smart in this aspect she used mr uh four i think his name is and he uh, had like a devil fruit well no he had a devil fruit companion it was a little dog i might talk about that in another video tell me if you want me to talk about that and he kind of just like shot out baseballs and uh, Mr. Four shot a baseball bat like ba baseball and he's just like boom and then uh, Mrs. Mrs. Christmas just came out of nowhere with the with the save pulling the ball and like taking it to places giving it to the uh, devil fruit cannon and then giving it to Mr. Four he shoots it and hits the guys with like a big strike and it hurts in this case being Usopp and kind of chopper. Let's talk about different translations because we all love Funimation and 4Kids dub translations. The Funimation dub is just called the Mole Mole Fruit, which is pretty like simple. It's Mogura Mogura Flute in uh, Japanese is just Mole in English, so that's quite normal. But then the 4Kids dub called it the Diggy Diggy Fruit, which I find very funny. Now, the upside with this double fruit and its strength, I would say, it says on the wiki and from what I've seen, I rewatched the episode because I just love the episode with Usopp and Chopper working together because it barely happens in One Piece, even if you like really look into it. But uh, we see Miss Merry Christmas move around underground like she's swimming in water. Similar to something like what Mr. Senior Pink would do uh, with his devil fruit, the swim swim fruit, which he could swim but not in water but on the ground. Uh, see, like with these videos, there's always a pattern where there's an inferior version. Now, I could see the Mo Mo fruit or the Mogu Mogu no Mi be an inferior version of Senior Pink's swim swim fruit. Because she that's like the biggest strength but it doesn't have really correlation so i won't give that as fact but uh yeah it's probably the biggest strength you can move really fast underground another good use to this fruit is that if you have an ally and she did have an ally mr four uh you'd be able to not only use these holes that you dig for yourself but also for your allies uh, of course you can dig even bigger holes smaller holes depending on if your ally is bigger or smaller and you know it helps them escape sticky situations or get into a sticky situation to get out of a sticky situation you get what i mean right but there is a big weakness to this fruit which you know what it, 
I call it a big weakness, but also it's quite rare you see these things. But let's say you're on the grand line, you're going to probably see these things a crap ton. And that is uh, when she digs tunnels or if you have the devil fruit, he would uh, throw something into the uh, hole where you dug. Because this is the whole place you're moving around in. This is where you're trying to sneak out in the enemy. If they know you're in there and they have enough time to throw a grenade, let's say, in there, you're gone for like it, you can't do anything about that unless you're fast enough and we do see in the alabaster arc usopp using his arsenal of explosives and she's almost down for the count the only reason usopp didn't survive was because of mr four and his devil fruit like gun dog other than that there's only other one other weakness and that is the same exact weakness as every single devil fruit water now we don't know any other way you could use this fruit other than just playing whack-a-mole because oda literally drew the fight as a whack-a-mole thing back in Alabasta, because we know Usopp like held his five-ton hammer. Then he held it out, and then like we just see him like hitting the holes where like Miss Mrs. Merry Christmas just popping up. They go, "I'm here, I'm here, I'm here now," and then he's just hitting the hole. That's kind of just what happened the whole fight. We don't really know what other use for this is, because this is all she's been doing. The only other thing we've seen is where she like got up, snuck up on Usopp, but after he got out the five-ton hammer. He kind of just, like, beat her to the hole, call it, like, pre-observation hockey, similar to Zora and Alabasta. Yeah, that's 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 what I'm going to go for. Now, since I've been speaking about how you use the elf fruit, what are the techniques? Now, one of her techniques, the most used one in the fight, is mole stealth style. It's where she jumps out of a hole, and if you don't hear her or see her, she, yeah, she attacks you. Then we have another technique, woodchuck swimming stealth style. This is where the opponent, instead of just be walking around, would be distracted by an attack. And then while they're distracted by that attack, she sneaks up behind him and hits them. Don't know what correlation that has to do with woodchucks. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments. Now, she used this attack probably the second most in the whole fight. It's called Mole Attack Banana. Now, the reason it's called this is because her claws in the anime and in the manga are shaped like a banana. And she forms this attack on the ground and does her stealth style and jumps up and, you know, scratches you. Now we have another technique, which is probably her last one, which is actually important, and that is the one where Usopp got completely knocked out cold and uh, until he got back up like a frickin' Chad, and it's called Mole Mole Rush, and that is where she just takes someone underground, holds him with her teeth, her hands, and then will rush at a wall from the underground and just completely smack him against it. Now, like I said, this is a very short video. You might be like, okay, that's kind of it. But others, you like talk about their lineage. But here's the thing about Miss, Mrs. Merry Christmas. We don't really know much about her. I will tell you much about her uh, past, uh, but I will tell you more about her future. And that is that now she runs a cafe called the New Spiders Cafe. A lot of Baroque Works members actually work there now. And she is a cafe waitress, and she always wanted to be one for some reason. She does come from the Grand Line, and that it wasn't confirmed in a data book. And before we end off the video, there I just want to make this video maybe 7 to 30, 7, 30 seconds long. So I will say that uh, Mr. Four, his name is Babe, and uh, he wanted to become a uh, delivery pizza man. Not a pizza man, a delivery pizza man. I commend him. I, I really do. Anyway, that's, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And uh, I know it's past Christmas, but Merry Christmas and... I don't know. By now, probably Happy New Year. Peace out, guys. Grand Fleet signing out.